Well, I'm so excited because today we have a clip sent to us from Sophie from Australia. 네. I wonder if her daughter will be there. She's so cute. <laughs> well, not to ruin the fun or spoil the video. She's not in the video. Well, this time either. 자, 그러면 소피 씨의 딸은 안 나오지만 소피 씨가 어떤 이야기를 해 줄지 그리고 어, 병원에 관련된 거고 음. 그리고 깁스와 관련된 추억이 혹시 있는지 한번 음. 이야기를 들어보겠습니다. 불러 볼까요? 오케이. 소피 씨. 나와 주세요. Seems ridiculous now, but when we were kids, my brother broke his arm trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. He had to have his arm in a cast for six weeks. This was before the coloured cast that you can get nowadays, so it was just white. And actually by the end of the six weeks, it was kind of yellow. But all his classmates wrote their names on it, and they drew pictures on it, and I thought it was so cool that I actually remember trying to break my own arm. thinking that I could have a cast too and be cool like my brother. But when they cut the cast off, I remember being really frightened by the saw that they used and I thought it was going to cut his arm. And when his arm came out, it didn't look like his other arm. It was much more white and thin. And suddenly, it didn't seem so cool anymore. <웃음> 어린아이라면 누구나 한 번쯤은 상상해 봤을 것 같아요. Right. 네. That happened to me too. One of my classmates had a cast and so we all drew pictures on it and 음. I was like, "Oh, I want a cast." 아, But I didn't try and break my arm. Okay. I just thought if I break my arm, I won't mind. You were at least being more reasonable than Sophie was when she was a child. <웃음> 자, 그러면 소피 씨가 어떤 이야기를 했고 또 그중에서 어떤 부분이 어려울 수 있는 부분인지 함께 공부를 해 보겠습니다. 첫 번째 줄부터 소개해 주시죠. Okay. So the first line is It seems ridiculous now, but when we were kids, it seems ridiculous now, but when we were kids. 네, 앞부분에서 it seems ridiculous라는 말을 할때 사실 it 부분이 거의 들리지 않았어요. Uh, yeah. 뭐 아예 말을 안한걸 수도 있지만 이제 글을 쓸 때에는 it 써 주는 right, 것이 더 정확하겠죠. 그렇지만 mm-hmm. 말할 때는 seems 그냥 이렇게 seems로 yeah. 시작하는 경우도 있죠. We have a lot of those. 네. Seems like we say seems 또는 a lot. Looks like it's raining. Yeah, looks we don't like. say it looks like it's raining. Just 음. looks like it's going to rain. 네, 그렇지만 Looks like you're very awake today. Thank you. I slept well last night. <웃음> 그런데 이제 looks like라고 말을 하더라도 실제 문장은 it가 들어가 있다는 거는 right. 알고 있어야겠죠. Right. 그래서 it seems ridiculous now. 지금 생각하면 웃기지만 but when we were kids, 여기서 we가 누구인지는 아직 나오진 않았어요. Right. 그렇지만 우리가 어렸을 때는 우리가 어린 아이였을 때는 이라는 부분인데요. 여기서 음. 단어 공부하고 가죠. Okay, so we're going to take a look at ridiculous. 그렇죠. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous는 이제 웃기는 말도 안 되는 이라는 건데 리디, 디의 강세가 있죠. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculous 아니고 ridiculous인데. Ridiculous. 네, 어떤 uh-huh. 형태로 쓰이는가 한번 예를 좀 보겠습니다. 첫 번째. Okay. Ridiculous nonsense. 네. Ridiculous nonsense. 물론 그냥 nonsense라고 해도 말이 안 되는 소리이긴 하죠. Right. Something that people say that makes no sense is nonsense. Is nonsense. 네. Make sense. 말이 좀 되어야 하고 이해가 되어야 하는데 그게 안 되는 거니까 mm-hmm. nonsense인데 ridiculous nonsense 하면 그걸 강조해줘요. Right. 그래서 정말 터무니없는 말도 안 되는 소리라는 mm-hmm. 뜻이고요. 뭐 근거 없는 소문이라든지 mm-hmm. 그런 것들이 다 ridiculous nonsense라고 묘사가 가능하겠죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 두 번째 Ridiculous price. Oh. Ridiculous price. 네, 말도 안 되는 가격. 뭐 이거 핀 하나에 얼마? 뭐 이렇게 했을 때 right. 뭐 이렇게 비싸? 네. Yeah. It has, the prices are ridiculous. Yeah, it has a ridiculous price, or the price is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Or and in this case, you can actually change ridiculous for crazy. 아, 그렇죠. Such crazy prices. 네, 이런 경우라면 정말로 가격이 말도 안 되는데 정말 그 이성적이지 않은 범위라면 crazy라고도 바꿀 수 있겠죠. Yeah. 앞에서 이야기했던 이야기했던 crazy nonsense도 oh, 바꿀 yeah. 수 있겠지만. Crazy nonsense. 네, crazy는 <웃음> 이런 price에 더 어울릴 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 그리고 그 다음은 어떤 표현이 있죠? Mm-hmm. Ridiculous idea. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous idea. Ridiculous idea는 이제 바보 같은 아이디어인데 뭐 물론 완전 정말로 stupid idea일 수도 있겠고. Right. 또는 crazy idea. It could be a crazy idea. Just something that's like that will not work. 네. Yeah. 그렇지만 뭐 혹시 몰라요. 가능성이 조금은 있어요. Ridiculous yeah. ideas might work sometimes. That's true. Like in movies though. 네. Like if the superhero has a plan and mm-hmm. it's very ridiculous but somehow it works out. 네. Like yeah. Yeah. I think maybe 300 years ago before the the invention of planes Flying, humans flying in the air was a ridiculous, ridiculous idea. idea. 예전에 이제 비행기가 만들어지기 전에는 몇백년 전에는 사람들이 
근데 right. 나라서 이동한다는 것 자체가 a ridiculous, ridiculous idea처럼 여겨졌겠죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 마지막으로 또 자주 쓰이는 mm-hmm. 표현이 하나 있습니다. Don't be ridiculous. 네. Don't be ridiculous. <웃음> Am I sometimes ridiculous? Sometimes you sometimes. are. Am I often ridiculous? Mm, no. Sometimes. You're only ridiculous sometimes. From time to time. Yes. 자 그러면 don't be ridiculous는 무슨 뜻인가 하면은 웃기지 마 말도 안 되는 소리 하지 마라는 건데 mm-hmm. 뭐 예를 들어서 제가 하지도 않은 실수에 대해서 막 사과를 하거나 그러면 mm. don't be ridiculous. You didn't do anything yeah, wrong. Don't be ridiculous, Hannah 네. Sam. You never do anything wrong to me. 네. <웃음> 그 표정은 뭐죠? 그리고 I'm casting 또, a smile. 하하, I see. I'm not going to look at it. <웃음> don't be ridiculous는 그 사람이 좀 이성적으로 행동하거나 말하지 않을 때뭐 음. 그, 그런 거 가지고 그래, 웃기지 마. Don't be ridiculous 아니면 음. 너무 걱정하고 있어. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. 여러 가지로 쓸수 있는 yeah, 표현입니다. Don't worry. Okay, mm-hmm. back to the story, please. Back to the story, okay. My brother broke his arm trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. Mm-hmm. My brother broke his arm trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. 어, 오늘 소피 씨가 해줬던 이야기 그한줄한줄 한줄 중에서 이 부분이 가장 빨랐던 것 같은데. Uh, right. My brother broke his, his, his arm. 제 오빠가 팔을 부러뜨렸어요. 팔이 부러졌는데 뭐 하다가 trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. Ooh. Our bunk bed라고 했으니까 둘이 함께 썼던. Right. They're 네. sharing the bunk bed. Of his bunk bed 아니고. Right. Of our, our bunk, bunk bed. bed. So that means they're sharing it. 네, 소피 씨가 1층을 썼겠고 이제 오빠가 2층을 썼을 것 같은데. Climb up the side니까 그 2층 침대는 옆에 사다리를 통해서 올라가잖아요. 그래서 right. Climb up the side, climb up a mountain, right. 산을 오르는 거고 여기서는 mm-hmm. the side of our bunk bed. Bunk bed right. But he probably tried to climb up, not the ladder part, 아. which is why she said the side, mm-hmm. like the side without the ladder. Because the ladder is safe, right? 그렇죠. Yeah. 사다리가 아니고 그냥 그 아무것도 없는 비어있는 곳을 yeah. 이제 이용해서 올라갔을 것 같은데 mm-hmm. 그러다가 broke his arm. 팔을 부러뜨렸다라는 이야기입니다. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. He had to have his arm in a cast for six weeks. Mm-hmm. He had to have his arm in a cast for six weeks. 네, 오늘의 핵심 문장이 여기에 들어 있죠. 그는 그러니까 오빠는 뭐뭐 해야 했습니다. Have his arm in a cast. Cast. 깁스 안에 팔을 둔 채로, 즉 깁스를 한 채로 지내야 했죠. For six weeks. 네, 육주 mm-hmm. 동안이요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. This was before the colored cast that you can get nowadays, so it was just white. Mm-hmm. This was before the colored cast that you can get nowadays, so it was just white. 네, 오늘 전체 이야기 중에서 가장 유용할 수 있는 표현이 여기도 들어가 있어요. 핵심 mm-hmm. 문장 이외에도 this was before라는 부분이죠. All right. 네. This was before. This was before. We had smartphones. 네, 일단 이 부분 번역을 해보자면 이 때는 그러니까 오빠가 2층 침대 옆면을 위험하게 올라가다가 팔을 부러뜨렸을 때는. 요즘에 나오는 어, that you can get these days 요즘에 구할 수 있는 색깔 있는 colored cast 색깔 있는 깁스가 나오기 전이어서 so it was just white 그냥 mm-hmm. 하얀색이었다라고 말하는데 mm-hmm. 아까 그 메간 선생님이 말한 것처럼 this was before smartphones mm-hmm. this was before 뭐 예를 들어서 제가 어렸을 때 이렇게 이렇게 놀러 갔었는데요 this was before people could call each other on the phone oh, right. anywhere 뭐 uh-huh. 아무 데서나 전화 통화가 되던 시절이 아니었어요 라든지 mm-hmm. This was before 아무튼 이야기에 정말 많이 나오죠 Yeah, we use it a lot mm-hmm. Especially in terms of technology Nowadays because technology is growing so fast 네. We use it a lot more 제가 대학교 1학년이었을 때 이제 학교에서 학생들에게 이메일 주소를 쓰라고 했어요 oh, right. 그런데 half of the students were like What is an email? Right. 절반 정도가 이메일이 뭔지를 몰랐었거든요 제 uh-huh. 기억에 So that was before, or this was before, before everybody started using, using emails. emails. Or 네. bef- this was before emails were popular or, or mainstream. Or prevalent. Yes. 널리 퍼지기 전이었기 때문에 이야기할 때그 전에는 뭐안 그랬었다라는 이야기로 자주 쓸수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. Mm-hmm. And actually, by the end of the six weeks, it was kind of yellow. <웃음> And actually, by the end of the six weeks, it was kind of yellow. 여러분 예상할 수 있는 결과죠. And actually, by the end of the six weeks, 여기서 the six weeks라고 한 이유는 그 육주라는 기간이 정해졌기 때문에. Right. 네, 정해진. It's a set time, and she already told you beforehand that that time was six weeks. 그렇죠. 그래서 정해졌기 때문에 더가 필요한 거고요. 그래서 그 육주라는 기간이 끝날 때쯤에는 사실 it was kind of yellow, 약간 yellow. 누런색, 노란색이었다라는 거죠. Yeah. 다음 문장. But all his classmates wrote their names on it. Mm-hmm. But all his classmates wrote their names on it. 여기서 마지막에 나오는 on it. it는 무엇일까요? The cast. The cast. The cast. 항상 on it 아니면 at it 또는 뭐뭐 뭐 in 
it's on those, on, on them. Those. 이런 yeah. 대명사가 전치사와 함께 나올 때에는 앞에 나왔던 것과 연결을 해서 yeah. 무엇을 가리키고 있는지 정확하게 파악을 해야 오해가 yeah. 없습니다. 그래서 yes. all his classmates wrote their names on it. Mm-hmm. 그 오빠의 반 친구들이 전부 다 자신들의 이름을 그 위에 쓴 거죠. Yeah. 네. 왜 I 이름을 think... 썼을까요? I don't know. Well, it's like they're signing your cast. 아. I don't know why. We do it too, like uh, in America. You guys don't do that in Korea? We do that too, but we usually write messages. All right. 뭔가 메시지를 well, 쓰지, 이름을 쓰지 않는 right. 것 같은데. That's, that's what she means. When you 아. write your name, like in someone's yearbook or on their um, cast, you're going to put a message as well. 아. And then it's kind 예. of like you sign your name I at see. the end. 옆에다가 yeah. 뭐 빨리 나 누구가 이런 거죠? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 그런 이야기인 것 같고요. 다음 mm-hmm. 문장. They drew pictures on it. 네. They drew pictures on it. 여기서 나오는 it도 마찬가지로 the cast. cast. 근데 cast를 계속 말하는 것은 싫으니까. Yeah, it, it feels weird. If 네. you were to say they drew pictures on the cast, <웃음> they wrote on the cast, I would be like, it feels weird. I don't yeah. know. Inside you will be saying, stop This saying the word. Yeah. <웃음> 네, 좋아요. 그래서 계속해서 대명사로 쓰고 있는데 they drew pictures on it. 그 위에 그림도 그렸고요. Mm-hmm. 그리고 And I thought it was so cool that I actually remember trying to break my own arm. <웃음> And I thought it was so cool that I actually remember trying to break my own arm. 일단 문장 번역을 먼저 드리자면 그는 아, 저는 그게 정말 멋지다고 생각해서 제 팔을 부러뜨리려고 했던 기억이 있어요라는 문장인데 전체 구조가 이제 so 뭐뭐뭐 that 뭐뭐뭐인데 오해할 수도 있는 것이 이제 너무 멋지다고 생각한 나머지 I actually remember, 기억한다. 는 아니고 right. I actually remember가 중간에 삽입이 됐어요. Right. 그래서 So cool that I actually tried to 이게 논리적으로 yeah. 더 맞죠. Mm-hmm. 그리고 나는 그걸 기억한다 라는 뜻으로 right. 너무 멋진 나머지 기억한다 는 아니죠. Yeah. 네. 그래서 정말 멋지다고 생각해서 that I actually remember trying to break my own arm mm-hmm. 내 자신의 제 자신의 팔도 부러뜨리려고 노력했던 <웃음> 기억이 있습니다. 뭐 이렇게 그냥 쳐봤을까요? Maybe she tried uh, like in a really know. childlike manner. She didn't really. Luckily, really she try. wasn't successful. Because yeah. if she had really tried, then maybe she would have succeeded. 네, 그래서 다행히 yeah. 뭐 부러지진 않았고 yeah. 어떻게 생각하면서 시도했죠? Thinking that I could have a cast too and be cool like my brother. Thinking that I could have a cast too and be cool like my brother. 네, thinking that, 뭐뭐라고 생각하며 저도 깁스를 하고 오빠처럼 멋져질 수 있다고 생각하면서 말이에요. So she was thinking that she could have a cast, cast. and she was thinking that she would be or she could cool. be cool like yeah. her brother. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. But when they cut the cast off, I remember being really frightened by the saw that they used. 아. But when they cut the cast off, I remember being really frightened by the saw that they used. 네. But when they cut the cast off, 일단 cut the cast라고만 해도 충분히 자르다라는 뜻이 되는데 cut 왜 the cast? off가 well, 들어갔죠? Well, because if you say cut the cast, you could just go like this and just 네. make a cut in it. 그렇죠? So you have to specify that it was cut off. 맞아요. Which means that they're slicing it down and you're taking it off. 맞아요. Because cutting it could just be choop, okay. 조금. 네. Yeah. 그래서 cut이라고만 하면 자르다라는 뜻이 있긴 있는데 음. 자른 채로 그냥 가지고 있을 수도 있잖아요. You can still leave it on. Yeah. But cut off means cut and take it off. Yeah. 네, 잘라서 떼냈을 때 mm-hmm. I remember being really frightened by the saw they used. 그들이 사용한 saw, saw라는 것은 C의 과거형이기도 oh, 하지만 right. 봤다. 명사로 쓸 때는 톱이죠, 톱. Mm-hmm. 그, That thing. 네, 톱이 정말 톱 때문에 겁을 먹었던 기억이 있어요입니다. 여기서 단어 공부하겠습니다. Okay, so the first word we're going to look at is frighten. 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 방금 문장에 나왔던 건데 갑자기 겁먹게 만들다라는 뜻이고요. Frighten과 관련된 단어들 몇 가지만 mm-hmm. 유의어를 준비를 해봤어요. Okay, so 네. there's frighten. There's also scare. 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 겁을 주다라고 할때 가장 많이 쓰는 말이죠. Scare. 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 그, 그리고 alarm. 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 어떠한 상황이나 사물이 이제 겁주는 것보다는 약간 불안하게 만드는 것을 이제 uh-huh. alarm이라고 하고요. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about the alarm like on your 네. clock, but like 네. being alarmed. 시계 있는 the state of alarm. 네, 시계 있는 알람 말고 uh-huh. something is alarming 하면은 뭔가 안 좋은 일이 생길 것 같은데 yeah. 불안한데라는 느낌을 주는 겁니다. Mm-hmm. 그리고 and intimidate, intimidate. Intimidate라고 하면은 겁을 주는 것은 맞는데. Mm. 위협을 위해서 겁을 줄때 주로 많이 쓰는 편이에요. Mm-hmm. 뭔가 어, 예를 들어서 거미, 거미 같은 것을 보고 mm. 
The spider scares me 라고는 할수 있겠지만 The spider intimidates me 라고 하는 건좀 느낌이 달라요. Yeah, it's 네. a little bit different. It's like if you're sitting there and let's say you have to grab something 음. like a fork and there's a spider there but you're intimidated like you don't you don't, 네. don't want to grab it you 네. can't like move forward. 네, 그래서 위협을 위해서 겁을 주는 경우가 더 많기 때문에 yeah. 뭐 사람에 대해서는 He is intimidating 이라고 말하면 저 사람은 mm-hmm. 왠지 겁을 나에게 주는 저 사람은 이야기 말 걸기 yeah. 무섭고 가까이 다가가기 무섭다 mm-hmm. 라고 할때 자주 쓰는 말이고요. 그리고 mm-hmm. 마지막으로 The final one is startle. Mm-hmm. Startle. 네, 이것도 갑작스럽게 깜짝 놀래, 놀라게 하는 것을 startle 이라고 mm-hmm. 합니다. Like this. Wow. Oh, 깜짝이야. 이렇게 할 때. You startled me. Oh, yes, I 네. did. <웃음> On purpose. <웃음> yes. 다음 문장으로 가보겠습니다. And I thought it was going to cut his arm. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was going to cut his arm. 그톱 때문에 겁을 먹었다고 했는데 왜냐면 I thought it was going to cut his arm. 톱이 오빠의 팔도 자를 거라고 생각을 한 거죠. 어린 mm-hmm. 마음에. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. <웃음> And when his arm came out, it didn't look like his other arm. Mm-hmm. It was much more white and thin. Mm-hmm. And when his arm came out, it didn't look like his other arm. It was much 네. more white and thin. 네, 어렵지 않은 전체 문장은 길지만 어렵지 않은 내용이고 When his arm came out, 오빠 팔이 그 깁스에서 나왔을 때그 his other arm, 다른 쪽 팔처럼 생기지 않았습니다. It was much more white and thin. Mm-hmm. 훨씬 더 하얗고 가늘었다고 해요. 그 yeah. 빠져서. 마지막 문장. Mm-hmm. And suddenly... It didn't seem so cool anymore. 네. And suddenly, it didn't seem so cool anymore. 그리고 갑자기 그게 그렇게 멋져 보이지 않게 됐다라는 내용입니다. So that's the end of the story, everybody. I hope you understood every single line. Mm-hmm. 자 이번에는 소피 씨를 다시 한번 불러서 이야기를 다시 들어보겠습니다. Okay, 소피 씨 다시 나와주세요. Seems ridiculous now, but when we were kids, my brother broke his arm trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. He had to have his arm in a cast for six weeks. This was before the colored cast that you can get nowadays, so it was just white. And actually by the end of the six weeks, it was kind of yellow. But all his classmates wrote their names on it, and they drew pictures on it, and I thought it was so cool that I actually remember trying to break my own arm, thinking that I could have a cast too and be cool like my brother. But when they cut the cast off, I remember being really frightened by the saw that they used and I thought it was going to cut his arm. And when his arm came out, it didn't look like his other arm. It was much more white and thin. And suddenly, it didn't seem so cool anymore. Seems ridiculous now, but when we were kids, my brother broke his arm trying to climb up the side of our bunk bed. He had to have his arm in a cast for six weeks. This was before the colored cast that you can get nowadays, so it was just white. And actually by the end of the six weeks, it was kind of yellow. But all his classmates wrote their names on it, and they drew pictures on it, and I thought it was so cool that I actually remember trying to break my own arm, thinking that I could have a cast too and be cool like my brother. But when they cut the cast off, I remember being really frightened by the saw that they used and I thought it was going to cut his arm. And when his arm came out, it didn't look like his other arm. It was much more white and thin. And suddenly, it didn't seem so cool anymore. Thank you, Sophie, for telling us the story two more times. Yes, thanks so much for that. <laughs> and now it's time for us to move into a part where we talk about some cultural things. So it's time for Culture Keyword. Keyword. 